Mike Quincy Salusa, April 20, 2012. Everything continues to build up to the point that what is happening where the arrests are concerned, cannot be ignored for much longer by the media. We not only want their support, but events reported as they truly happen and with a truthful explanation. Eventually we will provide our own services to ensure our actions are not misrepresented, but meantime we welcome and thank those of the light who are in the forefront of revelations through the internet. Sometimes the reports are somewhat speculative, which means that you must still be discerning in how you interpret them. By and large they will be reliable, but you must still watch out for deliberate disinformation. We are more active now than ever before where your safety and well-being is concerned. Since a lot of our work is covertly carried out, you cannot know the extent to which we go but we do lessen the effects of pollution whether air or seaborne. When we have fully stopped activities that cause pollution, then we can set to work and complete our projects to completely eliminate their effects. We are looking to various sources to contemplate disclosure and prepare the public for its coming. Shock can no longer be considered as the outcome to disclosure, as sightings of our craft have been so widespread for many years now. Also we continue to show ourselves more frequently than ever, and even over more densely inhabited areas. Levels of consciousness continue to increase, and that has been expected in view of the amount of light that has been directed to Earth in more recent years. It touches the heartstrings of many people, who have noticed changes within themselves. Some fight it and are set in their ways, but when the truth comes out regarding the purpose of life we expect many to open up. Another important aspect is the acceptance that life is ongoing, and that there is no such thing as death where the soul is concerned. That should release people who live in fear of it, and do not understand that you are not just your body. You are wonderful spiritual beings who have so much more potential than you realize, and when you ascend you will be at a level where you can exercise it. There will be few restrictions on your freedom to travel where you like, and you can undertake almost any challenge that will further your spiritual evolution. Naturally, wiser heads than yours are at your call, and the masters will give you the benefit of their experience. Many of you already serve under one of them and belong to their groups. Group work is a feature of your service to others when you reach the higher realms. Even on Earth you will no doubt agree that you find yourselves attracted to like kinds. We of the Galactic Federation are also drawn to work together, and with our different experiences the group energy is very powerful. Because of the number of new civilizations joining us we can enjoy learning of their ways of life. There is also the sharing of new technologies, and it is amazing how different ideas are developed, as for example the many types of craft you see in your skies. Believe us dear ones, life is far from boring or lacking excitement when you rise up. Indeed, it is very satisfying and enjoyable, and carried out with love for the many forms of life we meet. Your future may not necessarily lay with us, but as you are members of our Federation you can join us if that is your desire. We want to see our allies mount a massive drive to once and for all clear out all of the Dark Ones, so that those of you who serve the Light can lead the people through the last days of this cycle. The White Brotherhood has long arranged for the right souls to be on Earth, and be ready to take up their posts and ensure a rightful end to duality as you know it. The Dark Ones are not the only ones that can organize themselves for maximum effect, and the Light has also long planned for this time. There was always going to be a victory for the Light, but with your granted free will the future was not always predictable. Until the millennium passed by it was not clear how you would progress, and although the darkness thickened you rose up magnificently to pursue the path of light. The Dark Ones would seem to have taken over, but you stood up to them and against the odds have come out of it victorious. It only remains to clear up the mess after the Illuminati have been removed, and in that we are totally with you. You. We know that with Ascension approaching some parents express concern about their children and that is understandable. Let us explain that they are as every other soul at this time, following their life plan. They chose who to be with and they would have known about their future as well as yours. Look upon them as souls simply becoming acclimatized to earth life with as much potential if not more than yours. Certainly over the last 30 years or more, many souls have been chosen to join you at this special time because of their highly evolved state. 
They are needed to bring out their light and help the awakening of other souls whose consciousness levels need lifting up. The whole process of ascension has required an army of light workers to put it on a firm footing. There is in reality no need to worry about any other soul whether they be young or old, and about their place in ascension. All of you came to earth knowing fully well what the challenges would be, and what your karmic lessons would entail. You are all fully equipped to deal with your life plan, and you have a number of guides who help ensure it all works out successfully for you. Even some soul's adventures with the dark energies would have been known beforehand, and that is also a karmic situation. Experience comes very hard at times, but that is how you learn and progress spiritually. If in this lifetime you have erred, recognize your mistakes and forgive yourself and you can still step on the path to ascension. Put mistakes behind you, and be sure that given the same circumstances you would not make them again. I am Silisa from Sirius, and see how the ripple of excitement travels around the world with the anticipation of your rights being restored. For too long you have been oppressed by the Dark Ones, and that time is over as their means of controlling you have been taken away. Love is growing, and a great sense of relief being felt everywhere. Thank you Seleucia. Mike Quincy. Website, Tree of the Golden Light.